Spice. In the coffee. For matzo balls. The world has become a much more self-interested place. But Cornelia Street remains a place where people are interested in each other. It is what the village has meant for the last hundred years, and it maintains that all the time. There aren't many places around left here that do that sort of thing. It's fearless that way, absolutely fearless. You can see re literature readings there, all different kinds of things. And then on top of that, you can have a good meal and a nice glass of wine. And so it really is qu quite unique. And uh, I think because of that, it will always, I hope that it, you know, it will always be cherished. You know, it's um, at least in, in my family right now, it's like, you know that if you create something, that it will have a home. So there's there's ten well done as well. It's just, you know it's it's anyone can come down here in the winter. That's easy to do. It takes a special kind of individual, on well, not just a hot summer day, but a muggy, humid summer day, a stormy day, to think what's the best thing to do this evening. Let's go and listen to some talking in an unventilated cave. <laughs> So at Cornelia Street Cafe is a, an art form in itself, and what I try to do is bring the artistry into the food. The food here is very good, <laughs> <laughs> and very reasonable. For the quality that you get, it's unbelievably good. I mean, I think what Robin does to uh, create this space for people who do every conceivable kind of thing, I mean, it's not just piano playing, it's folk tale and clog dancers and whatever. The people here understand what it means to open up the doors and say, come on in, give it a try. Because sometimes it takes that little bit of experience, you know, to make you go, oh, oh, I think I can do this. And sometimes it doesn't work. I mean, some of the stuff I've done just, you know, didn't work so well. But it, then it gives you the, they come right back and go, oh, well, okay. Do you want to do it again? Places like Cornelia Street and Cornelia Street itself keep alive a certain way of creating and being an artist that are crucial if arts are going to continue. This is a marvelous place. And I hope it's here forever and ever and ever. And never, 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 never closes. Your love and devotion gives me a reason to be. Being so close to the person that you're performing that you're not sure if you're them or they're you and you become one entity is very good for mental health and it's also the best entertainment. prominently in my in my development as a New York musician. I'd say it's 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 semi underground. It's it's more true to the the spirit of, of music making. That's where the heart comes in, I think. You know, you have to make a decision to present some very good music all the time. I'd say it's the best jazz club in New York City. I really love this. This place is, I wish there were more places like this.